Hello guys, this is Mohsen here from Global Travels representing you this fire temple, Zoroastrian fire temple in Yazd. Come with us. Zoroastrianism was the main religion of Iranians before the invasion of Arabs. They believe in God and they also believe in four holy elements that, that run the world, which are fire, soil, water, and wind. So obviously this is a fire temple and fire is a symbol of purity. So come with me. This place is holy and I'm not allowed to speak that much so I'm gonna keep it as short as possible so sorry for that. As I talked about fire, fire is the symbol of purity but take a look at this fire. This fire is more important than the other I mean typical type of fires. After Arabs invasion the last Sassanid king Yazgird III has commanded its peers to save this fire from invaders. Isn't it fascinating, guys? This fire has somehow managed to keep itself alive for more than 1,500 years. I mean, I, I can't just say anything, anything more than this. I just can't say that this fire is full of mystery. which means a force that leads us humans to move forward and push forward in life. Guys, Faravahar is a symbol of Zoroastrians, but this symbol contains lots of other symbols inside as well. Take a look, I'm starting from here. You can see the face of an aged man. It shows us humans that we have to consult with wise people in our life, lives in order to improve and push forward. Take a look. We have this ring. This is the symbol of promise. It means that whatever we say, we are responsible of that. Be careful that this ring is on the, le on the left hand. And as you know, all over the world, when people get engaged or get married, they put a ring on their left hand. We have two wings on Faravahar, as you see, and each ring has three layers, which shows us good thoughts, good words, and good deeds. It's telling us humans that if we want to push forward in life, if we want to improve our lives and become better versions of ourselves, we have to have these three things. 
good words, I mean good thoughts, good words and good deeds. But take a look. On the tail we have three layers as well, which are bad thoughts, bad words and bad deeds. So consider that. If we have good words, good good thoughts, good words and good deeds, we can fly higher and higher. But if we are carrying with ourselves bad thoughts, bad words and bad deeds, I mean this tail is gonna weigh us down and we cannot go higher and higher. We cannot improve ourselves in life. We have this big circle around the belly which shows us that world is like a bowl, is a circle. If we do good, we'll receive good. And on the other hand, if we do bad, we'll receive bad. That is, I mean, that's a thing that we have to be careful about. That's just food for thought. Take a look at this thing. This is called Angariminu. Angariminu is the symbol of that satanic inner voice that we should not pay attention to. And on the other hand, we have Sepantominu. Sepantominu is the symbol of those pure sacred thoughts that we have to actually pay attention to. I, I'm in love with this symbol, aren't you? Hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on and yeah, subscribe to our channel as I said for too many times I guess. See you in the next videos. Peace. Thank you.